Hey y'all, Mikey from Mike and Kay, and we are at somebody else's homestead today. We are working on firewood storage, so that's what's coming up. Hey, so yeah, we, uh, are answering the call for help from a friend and so she has firewood and right now it's all sitting here underneath the tarps and you know here's some more here we pulled the tarp off of it but we're in the process and you know you'll see me putting this together so let me show you what that's all about Rachel did a lot of the video good evening internet it's about hmm, 4.30 on Friday, and we have loaded up to go over to our friend Bianca's to build her wood stands, her, her firewood stands. So we got here, and Mike is going to do some tie-downs. I don't believe that they'll move, but better safe than sorry. So we are off to build this firewood storage bin. So we got about a 20 minute, 25 minute drive over to where we got to put it up. So we got right, we all got the tools all in the back. All the tools back there. And then we got all the wood in the trailer because yep. we had to put it in the trailer because some of those pieces are three meters. So it's too long for the back so of the truck. 12 footers. So. But we'll see you when we get there. Yep. We'll get them all evened up once I start screwing it together.
first one's done. Y'all want to set it even because it's a little bit crooked. No, no, we're not going to set it yet. Um, because we got more wood to put in it. And then, so I do have 12 of those, yeah? And that one we'll put up top so that okay. you can. Okay. Step one done. Oh, so many people don't know, but our Bianca is a very talented artist. Oh, and this is George. And I absolutely love George. It's so realistic. He's not done yet. She still has to do his background, but I'm still in love with him. He's just all the little details. Beautiful. Oh, I love him. Okay, I still want. Okay, so me and Bianca set the uprights in. Mike has to fix one of them. One of them is longer or shorter. No, fix all of them. Oh, uh, one's too short, so now has to cut all of them just a little bit. Yep. So now he gets to play Paul Bunyan. So, all the boards are two meter except this one. For some reason, this one's two centimeters short. So the fix is gonna be, because they sit in a pocket and there's so much steel around it, I'm taking two screws and setting them at about two centimeters so that when I put it down in the steel pocket, it stays up and then I can drive the screws into it. Cool. And just as everybody knows, they were all supposed to be two meters. We bought them that way. So now he's got to screw all the boards to the brackets. Yep. It was off color. So if you just want to hold it up some so I can set it at the corner. And... Oh, I thought you were going to put it across the top. No, 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 no. Oh. Across the front because the... Then I can put the rain gun on it. Yeah. Because the, the roof is going to run on the, on the, the triangles will run on the top. Okay. That's why he can reach. I could reach it that way. I thought he was putting it on flat on top. No, I'm giving it real estate for the, yep. the top beam. Yep. Because I'll make a triangle, a triangle, and a triangle. Yep. And then the Latin will lay across that. And then okay. Finish. Because I can build all the triangles at the house. Okay. Oh, now it's firming up. You can see it's getting so much stay more stable. Once he does the middle, it'll be there. So Bianca, 
forgot to paint that side on just one board. I did. Yeah. So she's it just gonna evaporated. So she's gonna come to the house and get a little jar of stain to make sure that she gets all sides done. Yeah. That way the water doesn't eat her wood. Because in Germany, be we get lots of rain. It'll be just fine. Uh, it's okay. You want me to hold it? Oh, I got it. Well, i use the, the, the German measuring stick. I've learned. It's much easier than a tape measure. That. So my father had these. And... As kids, we'd always break them on them by accident, of course. But um, you were boys; there were no accidents. But uh, I hadn't seen them again until I got here, and I was like, "Okay, why do they use these?" And then, when you're measuring by yourself and you're trying to get, it's better. But if you try to measure inside of something, it sucks. It, it's not good because. It's, I mean, I paid my respects. Oh, wonky. I get upset when you then, then when you step back and you're like, you know what I mean? Because we're gonna put the the Latin this way, and then that's when we're gonna adjust all these. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna make them 75. So we'll attach them at the bottom at 75, and then we'll come up to the middle, which will take any of the bow out. Because what I'll do is, like I measured here, it'll be 75, 75. And then whatever the distance is here, I'll force the memes into the right spot. Mm, that makes it, it even yeah. sturdier. And it makes it all, yeah. well, it becomes one giant box, one mm -hmm. solid box. And because the, the Latin Holtz is so cheap, we can put pieces to stop any of the twisting or anything like that in between here. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it'll keep it robust. That. It, you don't have to worry in, in three or four years that it's falling apart. Mm -hmm. And with it up off the stones, the water won't be underneath the wood. Mm -hmm. Both the firewood or this, mm -hmm. this wood itself. Alright, so All right, I just gotta do some drilling and such on the bottoms. Oh, that's right. The, the uprights have to be drilled. 
Do you want, do you need the level? Yeah. Okay. We can, we can bend it to square. In case it would be such a rainy thing that it always slams from here, I can always put, um, Hang the tarp. Yeah. No, so what we're doing for some of ours is you put a, you put a cable. You put, uh, an eye screw, you know, an eyelet. Mm -hmm. It's a straw ball with the eye on it. You put one here and you put one here. Mm -hmm. And you make a cable between the two. And you make the tarp and you put it through the holes in the tarp. Oh, okay. Like a curtain. And then you can, you can do this. Yeah. Pull it out of the way. So yep. if you do get a lot of rain, then you can get something nice. If you get a heavy tarp, like you can get a gray or whatever. And then once your wood is in there, you can just pull it close and it can stay that way if it's heavy rain or you can just pull it away because that's what we're doing for uh for some of ours mm. we're making a place that's covered because the rain is coming the wind all comes from the south okay. so from the back of the house and it's going to drive the rain into the stacks so okay so it is the end of the day i know um it seemed like i was just on this camera not a minute ago but uh, we are filming after after the fact. Uh, it, this does look a little crooked. It's a little bit of the lens and a little bit of I haven't put the bracing on yet. So let me flip around. Now you can see that there is two large squares, but those large squares actually hold multiple rows of firewood. So we use these metal brackets. For rigidity because we are using a pine a pine board um, these metal anchor brackets give us something really solid so they don't want to push out and then we tied the tops together and we're gonna make a roof that is going to be about 10 inches overhang from the side um, that'll help keep the rain off of it and also they're going to utilize a wire rope and actually thread a tarp through it so they can actually move it over like a shower curtain. Um, and that is actually the way I've done others in the past. Uh, it works great. But this is only day one, step one. Um, as you can see, when we step over here, it looks all wonky because none of this is tied together yet. Right now we have two boxes, or I should say four boxes, but two sets of boxes. And they're not tied together left to right, so these they all move. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to set it at the bottom. And then we're going to work our way up so that any bow in the boards is taken out. And then this will become one rigid cube. But that's going to be on another video because it's time to go home. And, you know, it's, it's about, oh, oh it's almost 7 o'clock at night. So, yeah. I know it's, it's bright and sunny here, but that's the way it is here. But it's 7 o'clock at night, so I got to get going. And so I'm going to probably put this piece of video together. Uh, we'll see. Uh, more than likely, I'm going to put it together and get it out to you guys. So you know my motto. If you're thinking about family, you're thinking about friends, give them the what's up or the WhatsApp. You know you'd love to hear from them too. And until the next installment, I'll feed you